And now, it's time for Southern California's Sports Fishing Voice. Let's talk hookup. For the next two hours, join Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, Corey Sandin, and this week's special expert guest for fishing information, new techniques to catch more fish, and the most current scoop on what's happening in the water. Let's Talk Hookup is sponsored in part by Yamaha Outboards. Reliability starts here. By Ford, the official truck of Let's Talk Hookup. And Shimano Rods and Reels. Fish with the best. Shimano. Get ready for the fastest two hours on radio with the hosts of Let's Talk Hookup, Pete Gray, Rock Cod Rick Maxa, and Corey Sandin. Good morning, anglers, and welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. I'm Pete Gray with Rock Cod Rick Maxa. And we're in the world headquarters here of Let's Talk Hookup right next to Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. A very busy one at that. And we have a great guest here, Captain Benny Florentino from Coastal Charters is here. We're going to be talking some serious fishing this week, so you stay tuned. This is Southern California's Sport Fishing Voice. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the mightier 10 night. You've heard all about it. You know the anglers catching fish have it. So what's holding you back? It's a fact. Fishdope.com really does help you catch more fish and burn less fuel. Fishdope.com is the only fish finding service with a spotter plane along with a crew of top anglers on the water almost every day that report actual locations and catches. You can get daily catch reports from Point Conception to San Martin Island 365 days a year. Fishdope.com is for everyone. Whether you have your own boat, fish on your friend's boat, or a Sport boat. Fishdope.com has online planning tools, moon phase, tides, hot bite icons, and more. So bottom line is, if you don't have Fishdope.com, well, you're probably missing a lot of bites. Membership costs less than $50 of gas, and that's for the entire year. That's right, one year. What a bargain. Plus, use the special code to save $20 on a new Fishdope.com membership. Check it out today. Fishdope.com. Catch more fish, burn less fuel. San Diego. Do you need a vehicle that's built ready for your next adventure? Well, your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered with the 2021 Ford Ranger. This adventure-ready truck is built with durable features like its frame-mounted step bumpers and high-strength steel frame. But that's not all. The Ford Ranger also has an available terrain management system with four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Looking to tow your boat or trailer to your next adventure? No problem. The 2021 Ford Ranger can handle that too and has smart technology like Bliss with trailer coverage to assist changing land and makes driving so much better when towing your boat or trailer. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com to learn more. That's buyfordnow.com and they'll be glad to hook you up. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Going to be a great show today with a guy that is as fresh. You want to say fresh off the water? Benny's never not fresh off the water. Yeah, so. <laughs> yeah be a great he's, he show still today. has his Maui Jim sunglasses on. <laughs> he's still right. fresh off the water. Yeah. Hey, good morning, Benny Florentino. Hey, good morning, guys. Thanks good for buddy. having me on the radio. Yeah. So you were just telling us about your uh, day yesterday, your day before, the day before. You've had some amazing Sounds fishing. Like it's huh? Yeah, fishing's been good. I know it's been good for everybody. Um, but you know, I, again, I'm the bass guy. I went out and fished, uh, the West Santa Clemente yesterday and the weather yesterday was epic. It was great weather all day, a little, little kind of mixed up in the morning, but in the afternoon, boy, it was nice to just sit back and, so cool. and just cruise all the way home. So, Sweet. but the fishing was really, really good, really good bass fishing. It seemed like the fish are kind of trapped in a thermocline cause they were a little cold. Hmm. So we fished. Uh, we didn't get too many on the weedless. We caught a couple on the surface iron in certain areas, and then we caught a few on the weedless on Corey's seven inch. They wanted everything with red. That's okay. I don't red. Know, something red. I don't know um, because I threw the normal, you know, natural colors and and that sort of thing. But we got into an area. I, I caught them on the swim bait like a few months ago, and we fishing <clears throat> from the inside of the kelp. If you know that west end by the dunes, that stuff that's really thick kelp on the outside, the leading edges, those were biting a lot of small fish. But that stuff on the inside was better. It was solid uh, three to four with fives mixed in. Man, that's, that's so and, much fun. Uh, yeah, it was really, really good. You'd, all you do is just make a long cast, let it sink out, whine, thunk, 
you know. Oh, it whoa. Awesome. It, awesome. Was, it was biting. So uh, that was really, really fun. Long day yesterday. <laughs> we left We left the island probably later, but... Um, um, but you not didn't just have calico bass. No, no. We also caught a yellow. Uh, caught a yellow on the surface. And we chased bird schools in the afternoon, too. That's why I stayed later, because I knew that stuff was going to come up right before the end of the tide. So... Um, um, that's, yeah, we chased bird schools. There's a lot of big bonita mixed in with it, you know? Cool. So it was fun. You know, my guys were catching, you know, chasing bird schools is always fun. Uh, saw some tuna on the horizon and the, the whole fleet, I mean, it was, was just outside of us, you know, right on the drop off there. And, uh, looks like they were catching them listening to the radio. And then, uh, we also caught in that same zone we were catching bass. We caught a, uh, a legal sized, uh, good one, probably, you know, 25, 30 pound, Sea bass mixed in. Oh, oh sea bass. Cool. Yeah. So we had the we had the full, full. And that was uh, just yesterday. That was yesterday. Like yeah, like, like yeah, yeah like, just a few hours. A few ago. hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. It was a late one, but you know it was definitely worth it. And um, you know I had some uh, great regulars on the boat, and um, um, they fished. They really make my job easy because half the time I just sat back and and just watched them fish and watched them just rope them. So, wow. So cool. What a fun day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sounds great. And then the day before you... Oh, you, the day before. I mean, that kelp this, patty fishing you guys are having out here. Yeah. I found that magic kelp just uh, 14 miles off Gold Bluff because I had the intention of fishing yellows. And uh, uh, I had had uh, one of my regular regulars, Sam, on the boat. And it was just by himself. And I go, let's just stop on patties as we go. And we find a foamer, we'll stop on that. So we're prepared to do all that on the way to the island. And then I found just just even with the macro bank on the end, uh, east end, about a mile off, I found that patty. And it was <laughs> wide, one. wide open yellow fishing. And it wasn't really on the patty, you know, how they always say, you know, just kind of metered around the patty. We, we got a bit close to the patty with smaller yellows. But as we drifted, you know, 15, 20, 30 yards, the fish got bigger. And wow. it was straight 20 pound yellows 20 pound yellows. 20 pound yellows if not bigger oh uh, we got smoked on a couple so cool. oh yeah. we started fishing light trinidad 14s you know 14s talica 8s and i go you know what sam let's go to the 40 they're biting let's go to the 40 pound uh liter and um fluorocarbon uh 65 you know max quattro and talica 10s <laughs> and no we just so cool. roped them yeah oh. put them put them in low and just roped them so ended up with like uh seven seven yellows uh, two Dorado, and uh, I hooked a I hooked a, a, a nice bluefin, about you know forty pounds, on the um, on four on thirty pound thirty pounds. Wow, nice, man, yeah. what a day! Yeah. That's so, so that was good. all from that, the same kelp. One kelp. We were that's on that thing for so like rad. two hours. Oh, oh my god! So much fun, dude. Yeah. And, and, cool. and then the day before that, uh, the day before that, what did I? Oh, I was at Catalina for uh, yellowtail fishing and bass. It's wide open bass fishing. On bait, so this oh is about the only gosh. time I really fish bait. Um, you know, I was talking to my son about a few months ago. You know, I'm going to go back to what I do, fishing straight, straight plastics. But you know what? Sometimes you need to have. You got to have the bait. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I know there's a lot of guys out there that just you know fish straight artificials. But you know what? Uh, I'm in. I'm in the business to to catch. Yeah. And this time of year, uh, we're catching. Yeah. You just can't ignore that. So, and I think the day before that. Uh, we fished cat. It was cat quite a bit. And then bef- I think uh, before that, we are chasing foamers on the east end. You know, that bite where the whole fleet was there about a week ago. I mean, uh, and I was west fishing away from all that. Yeah. Uh, just because I, I kind of like to fish away from all that. And we found really good foamers. Some of it was too big. See, I... Uh, again, I'm not, not as good as a lot of those guys are out there. I mean, I, I can catch them. I can get on them, and, you know, you do your homework. Um, and uh, we fish west, and uh, I'm only after the 20 to 50-pound stuff. I'm not yeah. I'm not flying kites. I'm not fishing the big stuff because a lot of my guys, a lot of my anglers, um, I, they, may, they may get heartbroken on that big stuff. Yeah. We want to catch. You know, we yeah. want to get them in the boat. So we chased foamers, got a few 40-pounders, then went into the yeah. island. Set up fish yellows and bass. Oh, oh it sounds gosh. like so much fun, what? doesn't it? So, and this is what fishing with coastal charters and yeah. Captain Benny Florentino's out of yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. what you do is you just go and have fun. Yeah, that I mean that's it. That's the whole the whole the whole thing is. Um, um, I you know I have kids, I have women, I have you know what I mean. It's it's yeah. just go out there, teach people uh, to um, uh, to get on fish and get them knowledgeable. A lot of people have their own boats. Sure. You know they they want to learn so. Um, 
um, it's it's just it's just fun. I enjoy yeah. it. Your enjoy trips it. are so unique too, in that it's just such a complete package. You know, I mean, it's a you you have you provide such good equipment, both in terms of boat and gear that you fish with, <clears> and what you offer. And I love what you're saying about that. Like, if if a guy's gonna go and have way better fishing because of live bait, you have live bait. If you're gonna have way better fishing, fishing a, a MC weedless like you were talking about, that's what you're gonna do. I mean, right. whatever. It's not. Uh, you know, it's not like a I'm, I'm too good for this or for that. Like, right. I'm, I'm going to do whatever it takes to have a rad day with our customers. And you just, you know, your last three days were all completely different, but they were probably perfect for what your guys wanted to go do. Yeah. And that's, you know, I, again, I've always, in the last few years, um, I've always just stuck to fish and bass, you know, bass and yellows, bass and yellows in the summer. But at some time, you got to put that to the side because what we have going on in our, on our coasts and off our islands, when you can, you know, make a 30, 40 mile run to go fish bluefin tuna right. on light tackle with 20 to 50 to 60 pounders. Heck, we got the biggest fish I got was uh, probably about two and a half, three weeks ago. Um, three miles short of Newport Harbor. Three mi- miles. Three Newport miles. Oh, 100, 100 pound. 100 pound. 100 pound. Come bluefin. on. Three miles from three Newport. Miles. Yeah. Oh, my God. Straight foam. We chased foamers, foamers, foamers. And then, I, whoops. I what, looked, I what'd you get him to I bite? was just going to say, yeah, what, <laughs> what'd he eat and what'd you hook him uh, he, he ate a, a Colt Sniper 60 gram. Rat. 60 gram. Yeah. Wow. On 40 pound and, oh. a, and a Tranks 400. Oh, Tranks 400. Yeah. See, we, there was like the, that small stuff sure. that's been kind of sure. roaming the beach, sure. right? But you know what happens? It, yeah. it happens all the time. They know. They know when you're holding a Trans yeah. 400. Yeah. <laughs> That's when a 100 it, pounder nose device. Right. But it did the job. Barely. Yeah. I mean, barely. I mean he wasn't happy. He was fishing an 86 Terramar. Oh. Know? Yeah. Oh. So, so brutal. But it worked. And that's one of the things going with Coastal Charters yeah. is you get to use all Shimano gear. You get to wear Maui Jim sunglasses. <laughs> right. You got, to, uh, you got it all on the boat, right? Exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I mean, and, and I really do pride myself on the gear we have. It's, it's, it's all Shimano, G Loomis, all, all spooled with Power Pro, uh, AFCO Cycle Pro Leader. Yeah. Um, you know, uh, Gamagatsu hooks and, um, you know, whatever lures needed for the day, you know, whether it's the, the small pop orcas or the cold sniper jerks or stick baits. I mean, you know, anything that's needed for the day. You've so got it. I've got it. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. yeah. Now I see you're wearing the Hawaii volcano. Mount yes. Jim. Yeah. Yeah. And thank, thanks, Mike at yeah. Maui Jim and Maui Jim. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I saw him. I go, you know what? I don't have uh, uh, that lens yet. So um, How do you like it? Uh, they're great. I love it. Yeah. I yeah. Mean, it's kind of a little darker than the HT, mm-hmm. but not as dark as the, the, as the bronze. Yeah. And the, or the bronze or the gray. Or the gray. Yeah. Right. Right. And Tweeter. a little, and, a, and kind of like, like, like um, the blue Hawaii. It's a little lighter than the blue Hawaii. Even. Yes. Yeah. yeah. It's a good it's neutral good lens in if between. you want. If you yeah. want yeah. 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 If you want to. Think of it that, that way. It's a good in between. Uh, like I like the gray, gray lens or the uh, uh, the blue lens. Um, yeah. But in the you know when it's like yeah. this, right? You know the bronze lens is really yeah. nice. But these are these are kind of a really good you know in yeah. the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, they're they're flashy and they kind of got a great wife wow factor. Yes, they do. Because they're they're red and kind of reddish orange, but right. uh, but they they work great. Oh yeah, yeah. and, no, I, and I don't know that you've tried the new Kyvee Pass um, uh, frame. Mm-hmm. I might, Kanoa Coast was always my favorite. Yeah, right. Kyvee yeah, Pass, the that. brand new one is is really nice for. Uh, I, it I have, fits your face. Yeah, just it fits right. my face just right. right. Smaller face, right. so yeah, that's those are those are nice. But. And, and I like these because they're just they just cover more. Yeah, you know, and and if which frame is that? You know, I can't even pronounce it, but it's in all it's in all the ads right <laughs> yeah. now. Because yeah. um, there's a lot of consonants, not a lot of a lot of a lot of vowels, a lot of a's, yeah. a lot of yeah. u's. Yeah, but uh, just a super lens, and uh, again, it wraps and. Um, What's nice is when you, you, you can look through um, your, um, your, you know, your binos, um, especially if you have gyros, uh, you, you, you can put them right up to the glass and, and you don't have to they take fit. them off. Yeah, they fit perfect. So oh, that's yeah. pretty cool. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. So how does one get a trip with Coastal Charters? I mean, p- explain your boat and how you're oper- where, you, where you operate from and, and such. Yeah, so I currently um, I'm running a uh, 2021 uh, AFCO-wrapped um, uh, Ranger 2510, powered by a Mercury 300 Verado, uh, uh, warm fusion. So, so goes fast. Yeah, goes fast. It's, <laughs> it's it has all Humminbird electronics 
Solix 12s with side scan, up and down scan, um, uh, uh, chart master. So it's got all the great features on it. Uh, I have an Altera trolling motor, so I don't have to drop the anchor. You wow. know, I flip the switch on the on the uh, on the uh, fish finder. It has all the controls on the fish finder. I hit a button, it deploys the troll motor, and I spot lock right on there. So, oh, so, you, yeah. so it's like an anchor, but you're not. It anchored. is an anchor. Yeah, it's exactly what it is. So you see those poor guys dropping anchors on some of the, you know, the the four pack boats, like some of the Parker guys, and they're like. Dude, I gotta get one of those yeah, for my just the whole position, <laughs> yeah. man. Even even if you have a windlass, you know, sometimes that thing gets stuck, you're oh, stuck in a rock, you gotta deal with it. Where this thing, they watch me and, and, and a couple other buddies just flip the switch, we're set up, current yeah. current changes, flip that exactly. thing, comes back up, move over a few feet, drop it back down, and we're set up again. Wow. So make a subtle change if you think you're on it and you lay your anchor down and turns out ah, I'm fifteen feet off. Right. Then it's like that, well, do I yeah I cast that fifteen feet? Should I reposition? You just bump the boat over a little bit, spot lock back down again, and there you are. Exactly, That's exactly. Sweet. So and then and then of course I'm outfitted with all the uh uh Shimano uh rods uh reels and that's spinning like my loner spinning gear is sustains Jeez. sustain three fours and fives on g loomis inshore rods wow anything from the medium light all the way up to heavy and then for my bait rods it's tunnis uh tunnis spinning spinning reels on therese rods and then obviously the talicas trinidad's um right now the favorite is is uh trinidad 14 trinidad 16 and then talica eights and ten seem to be kind of a good a good roundabout i do have uh uh bigger stuff but it's really not needed for what i like to do so it can handle uh yellows up into that 30 pound class and even that tune up to 40 50 pounds so. those talica eights and tens are amazing i love the eight the eight yeah. we've cut we've, we've really got a lot of tuna and a lot of yellows on them um it's unfair when you hook a, a, a you know three pound bass on it <laughs> straight so and then i have all the safety features on the boat you know uh inflatable vests and then um for women i have a potty so that's nice kind of convenient in the uh because there's an actual walk-in um console nice uh comfortable for three people uh, they won't be. Nobody will be able to book me till probably November ha! because I'm I'm solid. I have solid. my site closed right now, and then people are just inquiring about going. Wow, I just can't do it or just plan ahead. So yeah, that's awesome. ahead good for you, yeah, Benny. Yeah, that's awesome. So, yeah. So as you can hear, we have a great show lined up for today. A lot to talk about with Captain Benny Florentino. Yeah, no, you're not kidding, buddy. I mean, so much great info, so much great boat stuff going on, so much great fishing going on today. It's just going to be an awesome show, and we want to hear from you. If you want to be a part of Let's Talk, hook up the morning give us a call on the phones you want to know if benny's a popular guy you can tell this way every single phone line is already yeah. packed up but we're going to be taking lots of your calls through the show and lots of opportunities for you to get through and if you want to give us a call this morning it's 213-432-1090 again 213-432-1090 that's how you reach us on let's talk hook up this morning or you can shoot us a text a great option if you want to get a question to captain benny florentino send a text to the let's talk hook up app it's a free download it's very easy to get. Once you download that Let's Talk Hookup app, you'll see the, the text the show option, and you can send your text right away. It's been lots of fun, and we'll be reading some fun texts throughout the show today. Not only are we going to be talking fishing with Benny, we are also giving away such a killer prize, and how fitting from our AFTCO pro, Benny Florentino. We're giving away a killer AFTCO package at the end of the show today that includes one of those great AFTCO fillet knives and some AFTCO Psycho Pro Floral Carbon. So a fantastic prize for one lucky caller at the end of the show today. Again, if you want to get your shot at that killer prize or better yet your chance to talk to ben 213-432-1090 and when we come back we're going to be taking your phone calls lots of great info coming your way you stay tuned you're listening to southern california's sport fishing voice this is let's talk hookup on the let's talk hookup app and the mighty year 1090 the name that stands out among anglers is fisherman's landing your top choice in local and long-range fishing hi this is doug kern our hard-working crew will make sure your fishing experience is one to remember we offer the finest open party trips from one to three days the best charter boats available and of course our world-renowned
Inbound Long Range Fleet is second to none. Fisherman's Landing is a full-service operation offering great half-day trips on the Dolphin and full-day open party trips on the spacious and comfortable Liberty. Since we introduced the full-day trips at Fisherman's Landing, the 85-foot Liberty has become a favorite among full-day operations with bunks for your comfort, huge bait capacity, and RSW fish holds to keep your catch fresh. Plus, Liberty has a big modern galley and two interior heads with showers. All our open party trips from half-day, full, or one- to three-day trips can easily be booked online at Fisherman'sLanding.com or give us a call at 619-221-8500. I'll see you at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. Many years ago, Baja pioneer Bob Van Warmer found the area he called the Great Fish Trap in the East Cape of Southern Baja and built what is now regarded as the premier East Cape resorts of Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Today, following in their father's footsteps, Bob's sons, Bobby, Chucky, and Eddie, have taken Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol to new levels with the largest sport fishing fleet in Mexico, a luxurious spa, and top-of-the-line resort amenities. Van Warmer resorts have become a destination for travel. Travelers worldwide. But for us, Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol are just a short two hour flight away. No other tropical fishing destination offers the experience and value that you'll find at Palmas de Cortez and Playa del Sol. Now you can plan your Baja fishing vacation quick and easy by visiting VanWarmerResorts.com. And when you're ready to book, it's quick and easy. Or simply call 877 777 Tuna for more information. Van Warmer Resorts, the East Cape's finest. Are you looking for an ultimate fishing destination? Well, look no further than Queen Charlotte Safaris Lodge in British Columbia. This is Valerie Helpridge. There's so many reasons to join us on your next fishing adventure, but a few of the highlights in fishing with us is the protected, calm, pristine waters for quality Chinook salmon all season. After you get your limits of salmon, Queen Charlotte Safaris will take you in our comfortable covered heated jet boat to our halibut, lingcod, and rock fishing areas. And we have larger retention than Alaska. Our beautiful lodge over Look Shingle Bay and Sandspit, and it's so easy to get to. You can fly from almost anywhere from the United States and Canada into Vancouver, then a short fly directly to Sandspit. Our trips are all inclusive, full days of fishing, custom processing, fishing license, and all your gear is provided. Let our expert chefs pamper you with amazing meals. Our staff delivers wonderful hospitality, all in your Queen Charlotte Safari package. So call me at 1 877 815 2892 or qcsafaris.com. We look forward to seeing you there. This is Captain Art Taylor of Searcher Sport Fishing. Celia and I would like to thank all of our great customers for helping celebrate Searcher's 50th anniversary. Our 2021 schedule is available now with more limited load trips. The Searcher has a great crew, fantastic food, a family atmosphere to make your fishing adventure complete. Book your trip online at searchersportfishing.com. That's searchersportfishing.com. Or call Celia at 619-226-2403. I can't wait to spend some quality time with my son fishing this year, teaching him about casting, how to choose bait, set the hook, and how to be safe on the water by always wearing a life jacket. Save the ones you love. A message from California State Parks Division of Boating and Waterways. Welcome back to Let's Talk Hookup. Having a great time here this morning. Talking fishing with Captain Benny Florentino. Going to be a great show. Again, if you want to get through, 213-432-1090. Phones are already packed up. I know people are texting like crazy, so let's go ahead and jump into it. You got it, buddy. Let's do that. Let's start off this morning with Carl. Carl's calling us from Lakeside this morning. Good morning, Carl. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Well, good morning. Uh, It's always a pleasure listening to you guys. Um, I have a question about, uh, I've been out fishing, I've been on a 10-day 10, 10 and a one-and-a-half day, but I learned a lot on a long range. But my question is, is well, I lost one big one, and my largest reel is an Avid LX. And, and uh, I, had, I didn't have it lined up right, but I want one larger reel. And the three reels that I'm looking at is a pen, an, an International 30, or a 20 or a 30 uh, VISX, you know, or a Talica, a Shimano Talica 10 or 20 or around a 20. But I, I want one that uh, that's bigger or, or an HX. I was also looking at the Avid HX. I was, and I want one that will free spool. I noticed that my accurate free spools a lot better than the Magic Cast on the, uh, on the Avid. And I definitely don't want the Magic Cast. Uh, what would you recommend uh, for uh, for um, and mainly I want to get my bucket list fish is it's got to be about a over a hundred pound tuna, ideally like a one fifty. 
Talica 20. I mean, that, that would be the Talica 20? Their workhorse. I, yep. I, I'm in just total agreement with you. And, and your your list, your list is slightly apples and oranges too. Your your internationals that you talk about, the 20s and 30s, are are just such a larger reel. Larger reel, great for when you're attached to a big one. But if you're talking about fishing flat falls and things like that, and wanting to be comfortable, the uh, that that tack 20, such a smaller reel fits in your hands. Be- better comparison would be an international 16. Still, though, my my money is on Talica 20. It's got all the guts for for, for a hundred pounder without any question, 150 pounder, whatever. And like you had mentioned, you you still want the reel to free spool. You can you can you know fill that reel with 100 pound spectra, put on an 80 or 100 pound you know floral top shot and cast a sardine overhand like you would you know a, a normal size bait reel yeah. Uh, yeah i know my 20 i have a 100 pound max on there and we'll run you know anything from from 80 to 130 it's it's a real versatile big reel especially if you're fishing at 100 to 150 it's for me it's comfortable because it's a smaller reel as opposed to the 25 even though the 25 is less work um, uh, again, a lot of my bigger reels are, are built for me, and so are the rods. So it all depends on you. But as far as you're looking at 100-pound reel, that, that, you can't go wrong with Cadillac. that Talica 20. Yeah, yeah, It's a workhorse. It's a workhorse, yeah. absolutely. And you can, you can land anything. Right. With that I mean, thing. We had a 320 pound swordfish, you know, on my <laughs> yeah. leg. I mean, there you go. You know, they, they are, they're badass. They yeah. just, they are. They you are. Know, very they're power, strong. small. Yep. Lots of rigid, you know, that cold forged system that they build the frame with. Like that's the that's the big, you know, that's one of the big factors. Is it is extremely rigid, so there's no flex in the frame. So all of the power that you put forward all goes into the handle. It's not, you know, it's not escaping from a tweaking frame. And then there's just the gears are so good and so smooth and so efficient. I, I love it. it that, that thing is the that's the that's the one. That's it. All right. Hey, hope that helps you out. Thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. Uh, we've got our buddy Tommy P on the line. Good morning, Tommy. You hear Tommy in the background have, yeah. somewhere. <laughs> but I think we have some technical problems, so yeah. we'll just we'll try again, Tommy, uh, again, so uh, maybe try and call yeah, back I'll, or something like I'll that. All good. Well, in the meantime, we had a really fun text that came through. This one is from Russell in Huntington Beach. It says, Hey, Benny, how long of a typical run is it to get to Clemente? I'm dying to go fishing with you and your new boat. Um, two hours. Two hours cruising at 28 knots. Just nice and comfortable. No matter how nice it is, um, with fuel prices the way they are, I, and, and, and as, as far as comfort, I'm all about comfort. Um, you, no matter how nice it is, it, it's just nice to just cruise. Totally agree. I mean, uh, if it gets ugly, still cruising. You know, I can <laughs> yeah. still cruise about 25 knots and still be comfortable. You might get wet because it is a center console, but it's comfortable. Yeah. That's why you need the Al- AFCO foul weather gear. Absolutely. And, you know, I have extra, you know, Tritons and... Um, 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 other lightweight gear. Like I had a couple of gals on the boat. They didn't have any. They brought ponchos. I go, let me run to my car and grab these. <laughs> go, wow, these are great. You know. Yeah. So uh, if you're my size or a little bigger, I have extra gear that I can loan. There you go. But I say bring it because bring it. dry is better than wet. Oh yeah. If you're always going, better to be prepared. If you're going fishing, especially if you're going west and you're fishing on a center console. Just yeah, get get your do yourself a favor. Get an anhydrous get suit. Get a you know get get a get a, a mid range suit. Get something. But it's it's just yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, definitely. Exactly. All right. Good text. Thanks a lot for that. Um, Want to be sure to remind you. Be sure to check out this week's edition of Western Afternoon's Albacore on the cover. Did you see that I big saw Albacore? That. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, up in the the Forgot central coast. They look even like. even uh, got a report from. Captain Bob Fletcher yesterday, Dart, told me that uh, Billy Stevens was coming down the coast on a research trip and uh, caught 100 albacore off of Morro Bay. Oh, yeah, my God. No day before kidding, yesterday. Really? Yeah, oh, that's cool. Bay. Wow. So maybe the albacore are coming. You know, <laughs> could it? Could this season just keep going and going? <laughs> but anyway, they've got all the information this week on everything from albacore to bluefin tuna, yellowtail, uh, big uh, Big, they've had phenomenal salmon fishing and more uh, up and down the coast. So check it out this week's edition of Western Outdoor News and also the winners of the of the San Diego Tuna Challenge too that was held at the Marlin Club uh, a couple weeks ago. They've got the winners and and all the information on that. So check it out. All right, hey, well the phones are packed. Let's jump right back into them. Roy from Huntington Beach is up next on Let's Talk Go. What's up, Roy? Hey guys, how you doing? Good morning, hey. Roy. <laughs> hey Benny. I've got two yes, questions go ahead, Roy. for you. Were you ever a captain 
on other boats going out of Newport or Huntington Harbor? Um, I run a friend's boat. He's got a 31 Sea Hunt that's at the dry stack. Uh, I, I run his boat like maybe once a month in the summer, but that's about it. I Always on the I, Coastal Charters rig, otherwise. Otherwise, yeah. You've been doing 20, this for how long, man? Since 2012. 2012. Mm-hmm. Wow. So wow. Nine years, yeah. You going to keep going? I'm about ready to retire. No, come on. We can't <laughs> let you retire. No, we need you, man. Next year, it'll be part-time, I oh, think. Oh, <laughs> man. It's hard. it's hard on the body, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm a one-man show, yeah. you know. And I, every time I think about it, I go, you know, those guys have guy crews that come on and clean their boats, and I... Roll in the AFCO and clean my boat for about an hour, and I do it every day sometimes. And guys will see me at, like, different r- ramps. Goes, I can't believe you're, like, cleaning your boat. Is that, like, every day? I go, <laughs> every day, you know, it's your office. You don't want to have a dirty office, you know. That's so, right. So. How many days a week are you fishing now? Um, during the main, like, this year, about 20. So 20. 20 days a month. From, from May through October, 20 days. 20 days a month. Yeah. That's then, a lot. Ben. Yeah, and then I'm doing about 10. on. They, they Everybody calls it off-season, but, you know, calicos, you catch. We fish the harbor. We fish, you know, the islands for calicos and sand bass and that sort of thing on, in the inner harbor. So it could be 5 to 10 in the off-season. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Good stuff. Hey, Roy, thanks a lot for the phone call this morning. All right. Let's jump back into them. Talk to uh, Robert. Robert's calling us from Orange this morning. Hey, Robert. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Good morning, guys. Good morning, well, Robert. I might be doing a, a trip. Go- Good morning. Can you hear me? All right. Well, All while, right. While we're trying to get the phone yeah, sorted out, we did have another thing. great text. Uh, this one is, uh, hey, Benny, can you tell us how that you like to set up your Tranks 300 in order to fish calicos at Clemeni and Cedros? That's from Rich in Long Beach. Um, currently, like, there's a couple of different setups I use for, for fishing both. Right, My favorite is a Trank 300 HG, um, 80 pound max, and um, on a Terramar Double X M, and that's mainly for weedless fishing. You know, Corey seven inch weedless. Okay. And then I'm fishing 50 pound uh, Psycho Pro uh, fluorocarbon, and um, connecting it with an RP, a six turn RP. And then to the to the lure, I'm doing a six turn uni knot. That's the lo- local or Cedros or both. both. I mean, that's just yeah. like you, you could both. Fish that's that my thing. standard okay. island, even Palos Verdes weedless outfit. Eighty yeah. pound max quattro mm-hmm. and a short little piece of fifty pounds. Yeah, micro. yeah, twelve fourteen inch uh, uh, liter. That it's only for abrasion. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, the reason why I like the medium. You know, it, it sounds light, but these newer uh, Terramars that Shimano's come out with, uh, it, it's a very sloping um, a tip. So when you do get bit, the tip gives instead of – I've always been an H, you know, a medium-heavy guy on the weed list, but I found that lighter is better. Really? Oh. The hook sets are better, so the fish will inhale it and not feel the pressure of that stiffer rod. Huh. So he'll he'll inhale it, come at you, and then turn – and then you'll feel the pressure on the rod slightly give as opposed to a stiffer rod mm-hmm. that will, you know, they'll feel pressure right away and just, you know, spit, spit the bait out. The, yeah. the tip of the rod soft enough to allow him to turn his head. Exactly. So you, you're setting the hook with yep. him going away. Yep. And then the other two-thirds of the rod has a lot of backbone to, to really get the fish coming your way. And, you know, as long as you're winding almost at a 90-degree angle to just turn his head and then drop the rod tip as you're going, um, that seems to be the best. Um, as far as, uh, uh, another outfit would be, a a, a 170 cold sniper jerk bait, big one, uh, that's Cedros and Clemente. And I'm fishing on a 400, uh, standard 400 tranks, 80 pound, pretty virtually the same setup as far as line and leader, but the rod's going to be a medium heavy. So, um, they'll still be able to turn and grab it. And a lot of times the fish are grabbing it in the side of the, you know, they, they'll bite the middle of the bait, so the middle hook will, will be in their mouth, and then the other one will be on the side of the face or something like that. And you're fishing them standard as they come out of the package with the drop, double trebles. Yes, yeah. yeah. Un- until I have issues with them, then I'll replace them with Gamagatsu, you know, um, you know, num- whatever number that, that balances the uh, 
the bait. We were kind of talking about that yesterday. The the hook that comes on those Colt Sniper sticks and Colt Sniper jerk baits, it's actually a really good hook. It's yep. crazy, sticky, sharp, and I've never lost a fish due to it. But what I have had is after a bunch of fish, and honestly, probably more lazy on my part, grabbing a hold of the hook with a pair of duck bills. Yep. Probably could have pulled it out straight, but didn't put it on them and shook them off. Like that's when that's when that you know you create the failure out of the hook. Like the failure's always been on my part, kind of being lazy and right. grabbing it with pliers. Yep. But when that does happen. And I, I've been using that same, that Gamakatsu 4X treble hook. Yeah. I've never seen them bend. I, I've broken them trying to get them out of the fish's face same. or mouth totally. almost, almost 90% of the time. Never seen them, like, straighten out, unlike the lighter lighter wire on the smaller jerk baits. Uh, those are pretty solid. And again, I had a, I was I was fortunate enough to have a hand in helping develop that with Shin Yamada, with Shimano from Japan. Oh, wow. So, uh, you know, funny story is when we finally had final product, we were out fishing cat, and I got one over nine on the one Ooh. on the one seventy. Oh. Yeah. yeah, they blew their mind. They, they, uh, a couple of the engineers just never seen a bass that big. That's and so cool, man. Such a nice fish, and it was in shallow. So. That's cool. Uh, That's awesome. So that would be my two main main baits as far as casting, and then obviously you know either a hundred um, the the Terramar double X ten footer or the ninety uh, XH. Uh, for Cedros, the heavier stuff, I, I like 10-foot rods because you can jack those jigs a mile. Not fun catching those 40-pound <laughs> yellows, but for fish and bass, <laughs> it, it's, it's exceptional. And then the XH, um, I just like the bend in that rod. It's, it's not as heavy as it's rated. Um, and the light, the, the, that new uh, um, um, way they made that rod, it's lighter, stronger. It's even lighter than... The uh, third generation Terramars. We were talking about it yesterday. How cool too that you can take a ten foot rod with the Decidros, but now that it's two piece at the handle, you're still only <clears throat> fitting a regular size. You know, the tube is no longer than your well, Cedros. You're not lesser worried about, but your bundle is less. Right, you know, right. it's just the, whatever the length of your bass rods are. Right. And if you're going with Jeff at uh, Cedros Kayak uh, Sport Fishing, it's a Cedros Island Fishing S- Charters. Fishing Charters. Yeah. <laughs> or, or Cedros <laughs> Kayak. Fishing. Cedros Kayak. Yeah. Yeah. You have your own plane, so now we don't have to have a lot of issues yeah. as far as uh, transportation. That's nice. So. Yeah, in fact, we have our Let's All Cook Up Fast Lane Kayak trip going right now. Oh, down nice. There. Yeah. Oh, they're hey. Ron Lane's down there. I'll bet they're roping them. Yeah, yeah I know yeah. Jeff posted something from uh, Chester's, and they're smoking them right now. Yeah. I can't wait sure. to October. For sure. Hey, uh, uh, Tommy P., we have him back. Hey, Good morning, back. Tommy P. Good morning, guys. Hey, I don't know who that impersonator was that called in a few minutes ago, but it wasn't me. So. It wasn't you. Oh, all right, that's. It wasn't me. I mean, I'm going like. But anyway, I had to call in because uh, Benny. I know that you know that Wayne and I are coming with you on Wednesday of next week. Oh, so, you got it. Sweet. Yeah, we are. We are really, really excited. You know, we do this trip with Benny once a year uh, in celebration of my birthday, Pete, and actually yours coming up too. That's so, right. Uh, Happy we, birthday, uh, Tommy we, P. Re- Thank you. Well, it's not yet, but it's coming. But uh, anyway, so I just wanted to call in, and I got to tell everyone that uh, if you haven't done a trip with Benny, oh my God, it is good, and everything that he says is absolutely true. So, whoever so that impersonator gonna... is of me, uh, tell him not to call in again. So what? what uh, so how are you going to hurt uh, Wayne and and, and Tommy? they? They won't. They what won't you... know until the day we they get okay. on the boat. They're, it's it's you're going to hurt them good. I think. Yeah. They're every time every trip. I just they just come on the boat and. And I, I I point the boat in a direction they go, and then I'll tell them where we're going. Yeah. So it can be go. local, it can be San Clemente, it could be Catalina, who knows? But they've been lucky. So. And where do you typically launch from, Ben? Um, um, since they're coming up from San Diego, I'll probably launch from Newport. It's either Newport or Long Beach. Those two. Um, I, I've limited it to those because it depends. If I fish Palos Verdes, I'm gonna launch out of Long Beach because it's a closer run. Right. And I could also fish Santa Monica. Oh, okay. So um, on the full days, I'll do up in Santa Monica and run all the way around and fish PV in the afternoon and fish that afternoon uh, west wind stuff because that stuff in the afternoon up at PV can be really good. And it's it's biting right now. So you just got to fish the afternoon. It doesn't bite in the morning. It bites in the afternoon yeah. with the wind. So he, he puts it. Benny just puts us on fish, Pete. That's it. I mean, <laughs> that's it, it. yeah, that's he, he, he just... Yeah, he puts you on fish. And then what, what he forgot to mention, too, was the secret lunch. This year, Benny, 
Wait till you have the secret lunch, buddy. It's going to wow you. Tommy's secret lunch. He doesn't reveal it until lunchtime, as I don't reveal it until we leave. Yeah. So. There you go. All right. Well, well I have appreciate fun, it, man. guys, very much. Thank Talk you. To you Tommy. See you, Tommy. Tommy, have a, Tommy, have a oh, great okay, time, guys. and uh, I know you'll report back to us how you, how you did with Benny. That's cool. For sure. All right. All right. Well, let's just keep rolling. We got some great phone calls ahead, some great texts as well. This time we're going to talk to Ed. Ed's calling us from Mira Mesa this morning. Hi, Ed. Welcome to Let's Talk Hookup. Hey, good morning, guys. Good morning, Ed. uh, I was going through some of my uh, fishing gear, and I noticed that I have quite a bit of uh, Shimano uh, uh, floral carbon in that. And, you know, I have the different colors in that. But but my thing is, is... Is there just one color I can use? I know they have the gold, but is there? What I'm trying to get at is, you know, inshore, uh, you know, going outshore and stuff like that. Um, what's the rule of thumb for what the line to use uh, as far as uh, fluorocarbon? I'm thinking you you meant maybe the Seaguar fluorocarbon. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, uh, the but anyways, the, you know, yeah, the, yeah, I yeah. have so much of it, but you know, I don't know what to do. Sure. All of the all of the colors, you know, just refer to the different uh, the different styles of fluorocarbon. And and to be totally honest with you, uh, Ed, the short answer is all of them are going to be just fine for what you're doing. You're using a premium line from a premium manufacturer, and all of them are going to be fine for inshore. The colors. You know, our references to the different product, and some of them have, you know, higher strengths in one category and lesser in the others. The blue, the very popular for guys fishing offshore, it's the biggest diameter, it's very strong, greater abrasion resistance. The green, which is the premier, is a skinnier line, it's soft, it's supple, it ties knots really good, but the overall breaking strength isn't quite as high as the blue. Still plenty fine for what you're doing. Uh, the pink label, lesser expensive, a little bit more wiry, a little bit stiff, but a very strong good fluorocarbon and then the latest one the gold is kind of a marriage between the blue and the and the premier or the green which that's a um still a very soft line not quite as soft and supple as the premier but very close to it but having that same abrasion resistance as the blue label yeah uh, but the again gold is amazing the final answer all of them i mean honestly they're all good don't don't, don't be fearful that because you've got 40 pound in a premier you shouldn't use it i mean everything you got there is very very good line yeah Absolutely. Ed, have a great time. Go use it. Yeah, have <laughs> Thanks fun. Thanks a lot for the call this morning. When we come back, we got a lot more Let's Talk Hookup coming your way. We're going to check in with the Catch Report, find out what's biting up and down the beach, and a whole lot more of your phone calls. You stay tuned. It's Let's Talk Hookup on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mighty 1090. Hey guys, this is Ali Husseini from Local Knowledge and BD Outdoors. I'm a lucky guy in so many ways, and one thing I'm really grateful for is my little brother, Yosef. Yosef is not only a fellow angler, but he's also an amazing realtor that specializes in helping us in the angling community find the ultimate home. If you own a home, get a free no-obligation evaluation online now by typing in SoCalHomeEval.com. That's SoCalHomeEval.com. All you do is put in your address, and you'll get a home value report immediately sent to your email. No pressure, no obligation. Obligations, just answers. Yosa is the SoCal real estate go-to guy. He's helped me and so many of my fellow fishing buddies find what they're looking for in a home. He knows anglers and he understands the real estate market. Not only that, but he's also a really nice guy. How many brothers can you say that about? Go to SoCalHomeEval.com and find out where you stand in the real estate market and then get with Yosef and find your ultimate home. Again, go to SoCalHomeEval.com and we'll see you on the water. One of the dream trips for most anglers is Alaska. There are so many lodges. How do you make a choice? It's easy. Choose the one most Let's Talk Hookup listeners return to time after time. Kingfisher Charters in Sitka, Alaska. No one does it better than Kingfisher Charters. They offer the best service, the most comfortable accommodations, fantastic food, and the finest charter captains in Sitka. All for the ultimate value. One visit and you will understand why nobody beats Kingfisher Charters. Sitka is famous for some of the best runs of salmon in Alaska. And if giant Alaskan halibut is your target. The expert captains at Kingfisher Charters know the hot spots and can put you on a fish of a lifetime. Plenty of rockfish and huge lingcod are there too. And when it comes to fish processing, the best in Alaska is Kingfisher Charters. It's all included in your package. In fact, everything is included except tips. It is truly amazing how the Kingfisher crew continues the quality of service they deliver year after year. Kingfisher Charters, 800-727-6136 or check kingfisharcharters.com. 
When you want to catch big bluefin tuna, you need Shimano. Hi, this is Doug Kern from Fisherman's Landing Tackle, the saltwater tackle professionals. The Shimano Beastmaster is the pinnacle of electric reels. Shimano's Gigamax motor packs a winding strength up to 250 pounds, ideal for kite fishing and more. Shimano's butterfly flat fall jigs are irresistible to bluefin tuna because they stay in the strike zone longer. Shimano makes a complete line of butterfly flat fall jigs to target your favorite game fish. For all your Shimano needs, visit us at Fisherman's Landing Tackle at Fisherman's Landing in San Diego. It's time for the Power Pro 30 Second Seminar. I like catching big fish, and I like smaller reels, too. How do I make sure that I have the capacity to land the big one? I fill my reels with Power Pro Max Quattro. It's 25% thinner than standard Power Pro, so you get more line on that small reel. Power Pro has a complete series of highly effective lines, including the brand new Power Pro Depth Hunter Offshore, with different colors every 100 feet. Perfect for flat fall fishing. Want to learn more? Check PowerPro.com. Welcome back to Let's Talk Cookup, man. Having a great time here this morning, talking fishing, talking fun. Time to find out what's biting. Yeah, let's do it. You got it, bro. It's time for the catch for today. Sponsored by Summit Gasoline. Such a cool spot. They have discount Everingham Brothers live bait gift certificates on site. So literally, while you're buying your fuel, you can purchase bait certificates for a lesser cost for while you're going yeah. out there. Uh, they also have all the staples that you need. They have ice, fishing licenses, beer, soda, water, snacks, coffee, and more importantly, the best price on gas and diesel it's summit gasoline at the san diego sports arena super easy in and out for uh, boat trailers and for a limited time you can get a hundred pounds of completely free ice with a minimum of a 35 gallon purchase you heard it right yeah. 100 pounds of free ice there's no better place to get your gas and load up on everything you need for a fishing trip at summit gasoline in the sports arena so you get uh the best price on gasoline like yep. costco style prices wow you get a hundred pounds of free ice with a 35 gallon purchase easy in and out with your trailer and then everything else too it's Which, a it it's a no-brainer a to- yeah, yeah and, right and- next to the sports arena easy in and out if you're coming from uh, la or or east county or wherever yeah and super easy to get to if you're launching at a san diego bay or mission, bay. mission bay, i mean yeah. it's within yeah. five minutes basically of the yeah. launch ramp of mission bay for at least seven minutes of the launch yeah. ramp of san diego bay i mean super easy yeah. trailer spot no i know yeah. a lot of our, our listeners have been turned on to it and they they call me and say yeah the ice works. thing for sure yeah, like that, that was such a good move on their part, on their part because yeah. it, it is i mean I, I hear it every day in the shop yeah. now i know yeah. that it's being very well taken advantage of and there's yeah. no sign of stopping in, in there yeah they funding. haven't called and say stop <laughs> yeah. so keep on taking it advantage of it. <laughs> totally. Hey, let's go up to Queen Charlotte Safaris on Haida Gwaii Island in Canada and talk to Harold Davis. Good morning, Harold. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, up here in beautiful. Here. Sounds you like a me? better connection today. Yeah, sounds much better. Oh, I'm out here on the fish ladder in front of the Queen Charlotte's Lodge over up in the bay. And we're going to start a little bit late today. This is kind of a tide oriented place and they got huge massive low tides and today we're going to leave about 10:45, or be there about 10:45, and it's probably a good thing because it's going to save us from ourselves the uh the place they call the wall right out on the west side of the island is kind of a unique place very steep and you're fishing just literally feet from the bank with your downriggers uh the bait pushes in there with the wind and these big schools of fish moved back and forth. And yesterday, the wall lit up. Uh, most everybody had numerous fish over 20 pounds. Uh, we we did get fish over 30 pounds. And most all boats right now are limited with king salmon, 20-pound-plus fish. In just two and days. So, uh, limited on kings. Yeah. yeah all 20-pound-plus yeah. so, fish. Yeah, except for me, I decided to uh, not do anything, and, and so today a lot of people are going to try to rock fish. I'll get the wall to myself, and we're going to be hunting the thirty pounders. <laughs> that's ah, be the nice. Part. That, that's the fun part. But what a great place! It's so unique. Every place we go is different, and this one is different yet another time. I don't believe I've ever got into the concentration of big, big, big salmon like these. A lot of people breaking them off uh, just from the inexperience of using the knuckle buster reels and and fighting thirty pound fish. It's really a it's really a challenge, and it's a lot of fun. I'll tell you fun. what what's blown me away about the reports is you know we're talking to Harold, a guy who's fished salmon absolutely all over the place, and is raving about same you know maybe the best salmon fishing he's ever seen. 
And then, Pete, you just yesterday were saying maybe the best ling cod fishing. Not even maybe. You said yeah. the best ling cod fishing you've ever seen. You've been all over, yeah. you know, in, oh, in, in those far. areas. And 100 feet of water. How, how impressive yeah. that two, you know, two guys who, let's put it this way, have been well-traveled in that zone, both say some of the best fishing you've ever seen on completely yeah. different things. Because it's so a low pressure, too. And I posted a 28-pound ling cod that Harold caught yesterday. Ooh, that was nice, Harold. That was a good day, huh? Yeah, we didn't grab that one by the lower lip. I'll tell you. <laughs> so the other thing that was crazy oh when I was when I was there previous week or previous trip, we have two back to back four day trips. Um, our guide Ed said, "I said this is like the best salmon fishing I've ever seen." He goes, "Oh, this is way slow." Get and I was like, "What? How could it be slow? It's the best I've ever seen." He goes, "Oh, it gets better." No kidding. <laughs> yeah. No, that's so, great. so anyway, well, glad you're having such a good time. And uh, are you still eating well? there at Queen Charlotte Safaris? Oh, my. This this is uh, probably consistently the best meals ever. Yes. That cook is a killer. Yeah, Both yeah. on oh, cool. and on the food. <laughs> right. is, is Dr. Bob yeah. Blum behaving himself? You know what? He had a big grin yesterday. I saw him sitting out there pulling on some halibut and pulling on some lingcod and back on the inside catching salmon and... Uh, talking to them their boats limited out it's great and so cool. today they're gonna just play play with some halibut and play with some link cod and some salmon because you can turn them all loose all right and it'll be another fun day on the island yeah we'll have a great time queen charlotte safaris our uh, trip next year we have planned is uh, august 11th through 15 it's already getting close to full already so uh don't hesitate to call queen charlotte safaris.com check it out and harold have a fun day and travel safe all right, guys, be good. Dr. Oh, right. I want to give a little shout out to shout out to. I'm glad you're doing oh. good, buddy. And another uh-huh. shout out to Will Hall. He got a 350 pound swordfish behind Santa Barbara yesterday. Nice, That's so sweet, man. Nice. Right on. All right, fantastic. All right, well, thanks for that. Appreciate that very much. And we'll talk to you soon when you get home, Harold. Thanks for the call from Queen Charlotte Safaris, Haida Gwaii Island, and uh, Northern. British Columbia. That's pretty cool, yeah. man. That's very cool. We're going to continue with our catch part a little south of uh, northern British Columbia. We're going to head over to Dana Wharf Sport Fishing. Talk to our man, Captain Brian Woolley's on the line. What's up, Woolley? Hey, good morning, guys. How's it going this morning? Doing great, buddy. Good morning. Good, man. Good morning. Good morning. So, uh, hey, we rolled through another uh, decent week here at uh, Dana Wharf. You know, local stuff, half day fishing, more bass, as you could, you know, probably imagine it. A little bit, again, on the tougher side, man, these conditions were just. You know, as soon as things start to shape up, we got the temperature, but we just got washed out with that big swell this week. So we are, our water temps are back in that 70-degree range. Some good calico bass action on the artificial lures, swim baits, and stuff like that. Of course, uh, best was just a standard fly line sardine. Seen some sand bass and sheephead on the bottom as well for those guys fishing the sinkers. But with that swell came that little bit of push. And off the beach is where we saw some real improvements this week, as uh, I'm sure you guys are well aware of all that stuff going on out there. So... Bit of a change instead of targeting that tuna, you know, we've been kelp patty fishing. We've just seen a good mix of yellowtail and dorado on those kelps, you know, stuff as close as four miles. Again, our, our whale boat keeping the half day boat in check there, letting us know if there's that stuff close by. Good mix grade on that dorado, seeing some of the, you know, some of that small stuff of a few pounds on up to 15, 20 pound fish. And that yellowtail, same kind of a deal, some small firecracker and then some fish up to 15 pounds. Even some bluefin and yellowfin on a few of those kelps as well. And it's been interesting. Just about any size kelp has been holding fish, too. So, you know, we're, we're trying to get in the boat stopped pretty regularly when we've been out there, which has been good, too. So on our all-day trips, it's all offshore right now. So just making sure everyone understands that. And then as far as our regular three-quarter-day trips go, we've been out there in the mornings trying to find kelps off the beach, you know, kind of first thing, spend some time looking. And then depending on what we're seeing, we'll kind of dictate the rest of the scope of that trip. You know, if we think we can make a day out of it or we get a good hit relatively early, then we'll spend the rest of the trip out there. If not, then we'll be back in on the beach on the anchor uh, fishing bass for a few hours. And then over at Clemente, the Fury still having some shots at that yellow tail over there. Some days this week, Marcus was telling me it was certainly better than others, which is kind of standard for, for that island. Uh, that yellow tail, same grade, 15 to 25 pound stuff. Fly-line sardines, surface iron, like he said, caught bass. When, the, you know, sinkers, for some white fish, sheephead. I mean, if you look at his fish count from yesterday, it's crazy. On an overnight trip, you had bluefin, dorado, rockfish, whitefish, yellowtail. It's just a full-on mix on his fish count. It's pretty cool. And then, uh, you know, this 
this kelp patty fish just perfect play for our, free, or our uh, six pack fleet. Sorry, those guys. It's just been perfect for you know, like Todd on the border and Christian on the uh, the Lexi. Those guys have just been out there just doing it up too. And uh, Christian even had a few cow bluefin in his count this week, getting out a little further offshore and uh, catching some of that bigger fish too for a couple of his groups this week. So good across the board. Uh, if you guys want to hop on a trip, certainly uh, reservations. You got to have a reservation. Or you're not going to make it out. Um, our number here nine four nine four nine six five seven nine four. Or, of course, uh, you can link us right there through the Let's Talk Cook It page, and that will take you right over from there. Man, great report. Love hearing it this time of year. Everything happened to Dana Wharf. Tuna fishing, cod fishing, bass fishing, it's all happening. Great one, Willie. Really appreciate it, and look forward to hearing another one just like that next Sunday. We're hoping for it. Thanks, guys. Have a great rest of the show. We'll talk to you later. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks. Willie. Appreciate that. All All right. right. Let's head on down now to Cedro Sport Fishing. Talk to our man, Captain Buddy Jeff Flowers. He's on the line from Cedro Sport Fishing. What's up, Jeff? Good morning, gentlemen. How's it going? Hey, Doing Jeff. great. Good morning. Well, we just got back from our trip uh, yesterday, and uh, wow, it was like fishing in a candy store. Fantastic fishing down under right now. Uh, weather did kick in a little bit from that uh, the hurricane that was off of the uh, Baja coast. We did get that swell, push some stuff around a little bit, but uh, didn't stop us from uh, from having some great days. The halibut were biting. Uh, calicos were going absolutely nuts. Uh, surface iron, plastics, stick baits, spinning baits. It didn't matter what. It was uh, it was quite the show watching 15 to, to 30 bass following your, your lure in on every cast. So it's a nice grade of fish. The yellowtail pushed down a little bit during that storm. But, uh, you know, a, a slow day at Cedros is a great day anywhere else in the world, right? So a lot of fun and uh took my son down this trip and he got uh got himself a, a grouper and also a white sea bass on the same day so he had his uh his personal best there never, never caught one before uh either of the two species and just having a great time so, so we rad. uh yeah we, we the thing i tried to practice this time was uh when we, we spoke with uh when Corey was on the show last week is the uh slugs yeah and we were i got we were talking down. about that <laughs> We were with the, so Jeff was said he was going to dedicate it. And we had Corey on last week. He was going to dedicate this trip to fishing the slug. And how was the uh, how was our results, Jeff? Uh, I need to go back and practice some more. <laughs> 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 it was uh, it was uh, a learning experience. You know the the old the old techniques for me uh, didn't work on the slugs. So uh, not that the that it was a uh, bad fishing with them. It's just uh, it's a different style of fishing. Sure and. Uh, uh, like I said, uh, I need I need more practice. So looking That's forward to the problem. next trip going down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very, very cool. Good. Well, if somebody wants to book a trip to Cedro Sport Fishing, how do we do it? Yeah, I get a hold of Rosie. Um, we actually have some openings. Some people have had to cancel for uh, various reasons. So there's just some spots that are opening up, and uh, you can get a hold of her very easily on her cell phone. It's 619-772-7570. Or you can go on the website, and uh, you know there's a, there's some other operations that are changing names down there and opening up. And just be careful when you go onto the website that you want to look for Cedros Sport Fishing, uh, BCM, and uh, you take a look at everything that's going on, and take a look at the schedule, and then give Rosie a call, and, and we'll get you on a trip. Sounds great. Hey, thanks, Jeff. Appreciate that very much, and we'll talk to you next week. Thanks, great Jeff. day, guys. Talk to you soon. Appreciate it. When we come back, we're going to finish up our catch report, including talking to the surf guru, Gundy Gunderson. More Let's Talk Hookup coming your way on the Let's Talk Hookup app and the Mightier 1090. If you're looking for a high-quality cocktail that's also easy to enjoy on your next fishing trip, check out Cutwater Spirits' lineup of canned cocktails. Cutwater master distiller and co-founder Yusuf Cherney is a hardcore fisherman. In fact, he developed Cutwater with all his favorite adventures in mind. Yusuf takes Cutwater's award-winning spirits, uses them to make real cocktails, and then puts them into cans so you can take them anywhere. It's like they were made for fishing because they were actually made for fishing. Check out their popular canned margarita made with real tequila, the zesty vodka mule or the spicy bloody mary which has some serious bite they also make super refreshing vodka sodas and grapefruit lime and cucumber flavors just crack the can and enjoy a bar quality cocktail even when there's no bar in sight back at the dock or at your evening anchorage and kettle 
Paulina. Cutwater cocktails are exactly what you need for your next fishing trip. You can check out all 18 of Cutwater's canned cocktails at cutwaterspirits.com and then look for them at your local liquor store. Then go ahead and set your cocktail free. Please enjoy responsibly. San Diego. Do you need a vehicle that's built ready for your next adventure? Well, your San Diego County Ford dealers have you covered with the 2021 Ford Ranger. This adventure-ready truck is built with durable features like its frame-mounted step bumpers and high-strength steel frame. But that's not all. The Ford Ranger also has an available terrain management system with four selectable drive modes depending on what terrain you're on for optimum performance. Looking to tow your boat or trailer to your next adventure? No problem. The 2021 Ford Ranger can handle that too and has smart technology like Bliss with trailer coverage to assist changing lanes and makes driving so much better when towing your boat or trailer. Visit your nearest San Diego County Ford dealer or buyfordnow.com to learn more. That's buyfordnow.com and they'll be glad to hook you up. This is the wheel Southern California saltwater anglers have been waiting for. The new Shimano Torium 40 HG. From casting wahoo bombs while long-range fishing, fishing local tuna or rockfish, the new Shimano Torium 40 HG should be part of your arsenal. With more capacity, more power, and an amazing 31 pounds of drag with Shimano's carbon drag system, nothing rivals this addition to the Torium lineup. Captain Ben Florentino of Coastal Charters says Shimano engineered Torium for the way we fish on the west coast with casting gear on conventional tackle torium's power and fishability are rooted in its body a rigid all-metal hagane body encases torium delivering both stiffness and impact resistance angler's actions are transformed directly into cranking power torium's s compact body design makes it easier for anglers to control hooked fish in critical situations the new shimano torium 40 hg is now available at your local shimano dealer grab yours today have you been looking for a live bait hook that keeps live bait alive? Look no further than Japan's leading fish hook, Gamakatsu. It's the little things that make the difference, and Gamakatsu hooks drive the point home. With an absolute perfect bend and ideal barbs, your bait swims harder and longer. And when you get bit, Gamakatsu hooks bite back with a vengeance. All hooks are not the same. Go with Gamakatsu for infinite success. Gamakatsu, simply the best. Check Gamakatsu.com. 